Happy birthday, Adrian. Oh, Plague, get that filthy piece of camembert out of my face. Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Marinette, don't forget to clean your room after school today. Mom, it's Friday and I'm already doing something with all ya. Fine. I'll go ahead and clean it, but don't blame me if I come across any of your private stuff, like your emails, your diary. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> have a nice day, sweetie. Happy birthday. I mean, have a nice day. Your schedule, Adrian. Thanks, Natalie. Hey, uh, my father get back to you about my birthday party? Well, um, he doesn't think it would be a good idea. Of course not. Happy birthday, Adrian. Dude, seriously? Has your dad always been such a downer? You think he'd at least remember what it was like to be young and want to party a little? No, I'm pretty sure he was a downer back then, too. Well, at least I tried. It's your B-Day, dude! Incest! You can do it! You can do it! I can do it! I can do it! You know what? I'm gonna have a little convo with your pops. Don't waste your time. He's not gonna change his mind. I can't do it! I can't do it! <sighs> no, you don't, girl. You've been stalling all morning. Now's the time! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Don't tell me it's Adrian's birthday! <gasps> Ugh, do I have to do everything myself? Seriously, what are you good for? I... Uh, I wanted to, um, gift you a make. I mean, gift you a gift I made. I mean... Out of the way! <laughs> Happy birthday, Adrian! Uh, yeah, thanks, Claude. Dummy. <sighs> Did you get the gift I sent you? Uh... No. What? Oh, those delivery guys. I bet it was too heavy, so they had to go back and get another guy to help. Those slackers. I'll make sure they get it to you by tonight. <laughs> get back there. Don't be a pushover. Literally. What did you get him? I didn't. You did. <gasps> and it better be amazing, and it better not be late. <laughs> Come on, you can do it! <laughs> Gotta go. Photo shoot. Why can't I just mean what I say? Uh, say what you mean? Exactly. Looks like I've got some business to take care of with Adrian's old man. Hello, Mr. Damocles. I am Mr. Agrest's executive assistant, Natalie. Hello, miss. Uh, pardon me, but uh, where is Mr. Agrest? I'm here. Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Agrest. Welcome to our school. Adrian, take Natalie around. Oh, there's Mr. Agrest. He's coming this way. <clears throat> As you'll see, Mr. Agrest, our students have poured their hearts and souls into their projects. <sighs> Where have you been? You got your hat? Yep. Here. <gasps> what? But it's the same as Chloe's. What? Uh, hi, Mr. Agrest. Um, I'm Chloe Bourgeois. You know my father, Andre Bourgeois, the mayor. Oh, that thieving little brat. <sighs> Do you want me to take care of it? I think I can handle this. Hmm. Turn the tablet back to Miss Bourgeois' hat. Is this a joke? <gasps> no fair! Marinette copied my design! It's scandalous! How could you do that? <laughs> I apologize for the situation, Mr. Agrest, but I can prove that this derby hat is my original design. Go ahead. Um, everything on my derby hat is handmade, from the embroidery to the weaving of the band to the stitching of the brim. All oh. done by myself. And last, there's a special design element that only the true designer knows about. I signed mine. Uh -huh. <gasps> Daddy! Very exquisite creation. You definitely have the laboring hands of a hat maker, Miss... Marinette. Congratulations on your demonstration, Miss Marinette. You're the winner. <gasps> Thank 
you, thank you, thank you! Adrian will wear your derby on our next advertising campaign. Uh. Awesome job, Marinette. <laughs> Sorry, I'm allergic to feathers. Gazoo tight. Thanks. Where is she? Why are you so concerned about his book? Hi, Tiki. Now we can get going on our history homework. It's so much more fun doing it together, don't you think? Uh, What's that? Uh, nothing. Just stories about superheroes. I love superheroes. Oh no! It's already too late! <gasps> Ladybug? She's amazing. A girl doesn't need to wear a costume to be amazing, you know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I... So, you've got a little soft spot for the bug, huh? Me? Oh, no. Not at all. You know, I actually happen to be very close friends with Ladybug. Uh, really? We can chat about it if you want. Not here, though. Why don't we meet at the park after school and I'll tell you everything. <laughs> I gotta go. I've got a lesson in 58 seconds. So... The park? Huh? Uh, sure. <gasps> hey, Marinette. Ah, uh, Adrian! What in the... Uh, what are you... Oya called me. She said you needed someone who speaks Chinese. Well, here I am. Translator at your service. No! I mean, yes! Uh, where's Alia? Cheng Sifu, Checheni Teitze Lai Palima? Oh, I have been Oh, Xie Cheng Sifu. My English very bad, not like your Chinese. I thought you couldn't speak English. Well, uh, me too. Oh, no, not good. My English, not good. <laughs> Since our World's Greatest Chef contest kicked off, the best culinary masters from around the globe have been blowing our minds with their gastronomic creations. Cheng Sifu, I am delighted and honored to have you here on our final show, where you will have the chance to defeat all of the chefs who have competed thus far. Only one will be awarded the title of World's Greatest Chef. The winner's dish will become the new mayor special on the Grand Paris restaurant menu. Tell us, Chang Sifu, what dish will you be honoring our panel with today? My dish is Celestial Soup. Wow! We've heard so much about your legendary Celestial Soup, but today we'll actually get to taste it! Would you like me to come with you, Chang Sifu? No, thank you, Adrian. Cooking needs no words. Thanks, Adrian. I'm totally sorry for bothering you for nothing. I really thought he couldn't speak English. No problem, Marinette. It was awesome to be able to practice my Chinese, especially with the Sifu. A Sifu? That means master in Chinese. Your mom's uncle is a great master. Well, uh, look who it is. My favorite person, Marinette Dupen Chang. I mean, seriously, does your great uncle really expect to win the contest with a soup? It's not even a main dish, please! Doesn't he know how to make sushi like everyone else? Japanese people make sushi, mm. Chloe. Chang Sifu is Chinese. Besides, he's not like everyone else. My great uncle is the best chef in the world. His soup is legendary. Well, I despise soup. So what? Didn't you know? I'm on the jury. Your uncle will not be getting my vote, for sure. Oh yeah? Well, he doesn't need your vote to win. There are other mm. judges with much better taste than yours. Uh. <laughs> Silly me, you don't have any taste. I mean, look at what you're wearing. You don't talk about me like that. You've made a big mistake. 
Wow, he really stood up for Cheng Sifu. He would have appreciated that. I'm not sure. I don't think he likes me. Oh no, you're wrong. No, I swear. He even ripped up the bouquet I gave him. Cheng Sifu isn't just a chef, Marinette. He's an artist. He told me he was going to put flowers in his celestial soup. He said he improvises on fateful things that come his way. The flowers he mentioned must be the ones you gave him. So, you think he actually likes me? Totally. <laughs> He's shown you great respect in his own special way.